Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Yountville Housing Authority meeting for Tuesday, January 15, 2019. I will call the meeting to order and ask for a roll call, please. Member Durham? Here. Member Moeller? Here. Member Dorman? Here. Mayor Dunbar? Here. Please let the record reflect that Member Doran Becker is excused. Thank you. Um, is there a motion to adopt the agenda for the Housing Authority? So moved. And is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Election of officers. Uh, Michelle, did you want to just explain the normal course of Yes, this? thank you, Mayor. Um, this is a, a Yountville Finance Authority by bylaws calls for the election of officers, which are president, vice president, administrator, secretary, treasurer, controller, and legal counsel. And those um, positions will be represented by members of the town council and town staff, as shown in the staff report. And based on the staff report, we ask that you, the council make those appointments. So in addition to the chair and vice chair, those appointments as listed? In the staff report, yes. Okay. Any questions, Vice Mayor? I do. Thank you, Mayor. Um, you mentioned the finance authority. Did I say finance? Oh, yes, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to Thank make sure we were all on the same oh, page. I pulled, put the wrong staff reports with something. That's my fault. Housing. I'm sorry housing, about that. Housing. Let me see if I have the wrong, right one here. Let me correct that. Sorry about that. Um, chair and vice chair for the housing authority are the mayor of the council and the chair is the vice mayor and the rest of the council is the authority and then the secretary executive director is the town manager. Sorry for that oversight. I just had the wrong packets with that agenda. We were agenda. just checking to make sure we were listening. You were on it. Any other questions about the election of officers? It's really going to be more. Is there a motion to the effect of the recommendation by staff report? I'll make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. So that's unanimous. Thank you. Uh, moving on to approval of the minutes from our meeting held May 1st, 2018. Any questions or is there a motion to accept the, the minutes from May 1st? So moved. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's unanimous also. Public comment? We're going to hear public comment in just a minute, I think. Um, <laughs> so uh, consent calendar items none. So now we have a presentation uh, regarding the housing authority of the city of Napa. We, we welcome back Andrea. That was mine. All right, now I need to get organized. Good evening Hello. and happy new year to everybody. Yes. Yeah, thank you for having me come this evening. And I'm going to give you a brief little report on the activities uh, under our housing contract. Um, so as you recall, uh, we are, the housing authority is contracted by the town to um, administer some of the housing programs. And up on my slide here are some of the services that we do provide, such as some technical assistance um, for a variety of housing functions. We um, which include the maintaining of uh, the current affordable housing stock, funding resources, monitoring of the affordable housing projects, and rental assistance. So um, additionally, we are um, contracted then to um, uh, administer the Cal Home and the Home Grants. So one of our main functions at the Housing Authority is to provide rental assistance throughout the county of Napa. And um, we currently have about 1,100 vouchers that we have issued. And um, up slightly from last year, about 100 we were able to, um, even though in a um, decreasing budget, we were able to issue 100 new vouchers this past year. Um, and um, I'm happy to say that three of those went to um, people here in Yontville that were on our wait list. And so um, currently there are 16 households in Yachtville receiving rental assistance. And um, unfortunately, we still have a few left on our wait list, um, nine. But that um, is, should be going down soon also. So each year, um, it, uh, the <coughs> rental assistance um, clients do receive um, counseling and case management through our housing authority office. They have an inspector that goes into their unit each year to make sure that the unit is staying healthy and sanitary. And then we work with the um, landlords to make sure that those units stay um, clean and 
and also if there are any issues that the landlord is supposed to be taking care of then we work with the landlord to make sure those items are being done and get those rent payments to them so um, also then some of the areas um, that we work in are in the homeless um, arena and we've been working really hard this year to set up in this um, some new processes for when people present themselves to the homeless shelter or s to some of the other shelters and trying to um, actually um, trying to do diversion rather than saying yes here's a bed for you try to get them some help and so we've actually been working with a trying to pool funds together um, but um, most our biggest portion of the monies that we get to be able to help the homeless comes through our um, continuum of care grants that we receive through HUD. We made um, application in August uh, for um, 768000 and we're still waiting to hear, um, but I guess with the shutdown and HUD being closed, we're not going to hear for a while on that one. But it is about a 4% increase over um, the previous year's grant. We have been able to um, assist many um, people and get them off the street. And so um, we're very hopeful. This is a renewal process, and so um, all the grants are performing well, and so we don't anticipate that um, HUD will not um, re uh, renew those. So the next area is I wanted to talk to you about is our standard housing services. And um, in under this area is where we actually um, do the monitoring and the annual reviews for the um, existing below market rate for sale units and the uh, affordable rental units. So on the, um, on the ownership units, we contact them each year to make sure that they are um, owner occupying the residence and that they're paying their, and that, um, paying their property taxes and maintaining homeowners insurance. And then on the rental side, we're making sure then that the rental units are being unit, uh, rented to the appropriate income levels that are according to the Affordable Housing Regulatory Agreement and to make sure that the, um, the appropriate rents are being charged and that <coughs> the income of the tenant is the appropriate income and that they're complying with your um, local housing preference policy. So um, other areas under this um, is where we then look at, um, uh, when we're looking at the rental monitoring, um, then we also um, are looking at the, um, the terms of the agreements. And we noticed this year, and it was brought to our attention by one of the l um, homeowners, is that um, at on Burgundy Way and on Adams Street, those two um, developer agreements, those long um, term agreements that were about, they were a little over 20 year old agreements, they expired this last December. So um, unfortunately there's four rental units that came out of the housing, the affordable housing stock. So that's not good. So under the loan servicing area, um, we're contracted to then um, go in um, as part of that loan servicing uh, is, um, is to under the grants the the cal home and the home grants that that the town has is to provide that um, application and contracting service through the homeowner repair program we're also then supposed to um, respond to any inquiries by the homeowners and or um, anybody that is interested in the um, in receiving assistance, um, we process those loan applications and we make sure then that the, um, the town is spending down their funds. Um, and then um, we also, for those loans, we have to conduct annual homeowner um, certifications, making sure too that they are keeping their insurance um, current and also um, making sure that property taxes and or their um, HCD um, annual uh, renewal certificates are being done. So um, some management in that area too. So I wanted to give you an update on those grants, um, especially because we're going to be talking later on this evening about applying for a new grant. So the home grant um, did expire last um, November, or over a year ago, November. And um, 
we did have one loan repayment, the uh, mobile home sold, and so we did have a payment repayment in September of a little over $30,000 with the contract that the town entered into with um, Housing and Community Development, you are able to keep those re loan repayment funds and essentially establish a, a revolving loan fund. So those funds can be relent for um, like projects again. So um, we received that loan repayment in September and we went to our wait list and we contacted um, a homeowner and we already have one project pretty much completed. I think he's, yeah, it's almost done. So we've already spent almost all this money. So with this grant, um, you were able to help about 15 homeowners from this past grant. And under the Cal Home Grant, um, you had a grant of 330000 and that expired last March, and you were able to help 20 um, homeowners with that, and we spent it all. And then um, part of that mobile home sale that came in, there was a portion of that that was a Cal Home Loan, so we received fifteen, little over 15000 loan repayment on that. And that all, again, went into the grant and went into that revolving loan fund. So we've spent that. And um, also then, um, again, through the Cal Home, any of those recipients, we have to do that annual monitoring um, for them, too. And then um, I did mention that we had um, a two developer agreements that expired this last year. We do have one that's coming up in 2026. And I've had some interaction with that um, owner of that property over on Oakleaf Court. And uh, we've been working with him on trying to negotiate how we might be able to extend that agreement. And um, we're still in some negotiations with him is all I can really report to you at, that, at this time. Um, and we do have um, a couple other um, agreements that are going to come due in 2027 and 2028, and we'll be actively working <coughs> on those, and too. If, if I could, just to piggyback on Andrea's comments here, this is a challenging situation because um, we need to be honest, a lot of these property owners, especially where they were a portion of a development, uh -huh. agree, they very, very well know the asset and you know, are looking forward to not being under the restrictions. So um, in many cases, it's going to be an uphill battle for us to actually extend and retain. And that's why, uh, just because, you know, one, the developer, the, the property owner does not have to. I mean, the 20 or 25 year term that they entered into is going to reach a point, And if we don't come up with something tangible or you know logical form then they're simply going to allow it in many cases these properties will continue to stay rental the question is going to be they will they will lose their deed restricted affordable and they may move into the vacation rental rather than the mm -hmm. active rental so um, staff is working hard to try to figure out strategies and some approaches but i just want to share with you that um, this timing has more to do with also when we had our um, a lot of development in Yountville, the town put in conditions um, 20, 25 years ago for this, and they are expiring. So yes. Um, yeah. the, the, I believe most of your newer agreements are um, into perpetuity, so they never go away. And so that's nice. So, um, but yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, so uh, under our additional housing services comes that um, service for uh, managing or administering your um, Cal Home and, and Home Grants. And um, part of that service is that, yes, we do do the, the loan aspect of it, but then we also do help with the um, financial um, uh, accounting of it and doing the reporting. There's um, quarterly reporting that we are required to submit to um, HCD and annual um, statistical reporting. So those are all, all done um, and, and uh, filed with the state on, on the appropriate dates that they are due. And then um, in August, we did apply for a um, home program grant on behalf of the town um, for homeowner uh, rehab um, 
program. We have not heard yet if that uh, um, grant's been awarded yet. Uh, we They said they were going to make awards in December, but we're this far into January and have not heard anything. So we're hopeful um, so that um, that the grant would, and if the town is awarded the grant, you wouldn't have access to those funds until probably later in the summer, maybe early fall time, um, s and actually be able to access the monies maybe early winter time. So um, it's not like if they award the money, you get the money the next month. It takes them a while to issue contracts, and then there's contract conditions that you must meet, and then, then you finally get to be able to use the money. So same thing is this CDBG grant that we're going to talk about li um, later in the evening. Even though we're applying for it in February, you may not even get access to that money until next year if you're awarded. So it takes it takes a while. Yeah. So um, and um, let's see. We also um, we did and uh, we did submit a, a grant um, at the end of last of 2017, which. Um, unfortunately, the um, town just barely missed getting awarded the, those, um, that grant, and um, I think Nathan put that in his staff report earlier. So. Um, so myself and my housing manager, we've been available for any kind of technical assistance throughout the year, and um, we are really looking forward to continuing our, um, our relationship with the town and providing services to you. And I want to thank you for your time this evening. Thank you very much. We're, we're not finished yet either for uh -oh. the evening. But <laughs> no. um, any questions of the report? You know, as challenging as it is that we lose a couple of the, or four units, you know, the fact that we had for over two decades the um, deed restricted availability was certainly a good thing. We've learned over time how to maybe better write those contracts for, like you said, in perpetuity to keep the stock available for generations. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll keep on that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thank Andrew. Thank you. I believe that does uh, take care of the business for the Housing Authority. So I will go ahead and uh, adjourn the Yonville Housing Authority for today. Next, w you need a little transition period, Michelle?